Uh, was you ever around Tupac? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, from uh, from like 90, the end of 91 till, till, till things changed and when he went to LA. You know what I mean? Yeah, here and there, all around the spot. Yeah. Right, how did the mechanics meet? Uh, shit, we ended up working on the, uh, working with an artist that we both knew. A dude I had that grew up like in my neighborhood was doing music, and um, he could tell you the story better because he was actually A and R. Yeah, uh, project. it was an uh, artist named IRS. Project. Yeah, kind of IRS. Um, long story short, these are these dope little young artists or whatever was coming up, and he had somebody that wanted to invest in them. So that, uh, he brought him to my crib one day and was like, he's like, knocked on my door, open the door, I'm like, what's up? And he had this nigga with, with him, I didn't know who he was. He like brought to introduce you to my, to my was, cousin. And that was stuttering Dave, too. Exactly. Stuttering he like, I want to introduce you to my cousin, bro. So I welcomed him in. He like, he looked around, went, went in his pocket, counted out like 8,500. He like, bro, I got to go sit down. Help my little young cousin put, put, put a uh, project out. And I'm like, I already was fucking with IRS because I fucked with his older brothers. His mm -hmm. older brothers was my age. Mm -hmm. And just by chance, his middle brother had got killed. So on some like love shit, I said I was going to look out. So I took the budget and started getting this project done. And I already had beats. So I'm producing most of it and all that. And I'm like, well, why hog the budget? You feel me? like, nigga, you don't know no other niggas who do, do beats. If you got any other niggas you know you want to bring to the project, we'll pay them. And boom, you feel me? So he brought Tweed. You feel me? So Tweed came in the studio and that's when we first met. You feel me? Tweed um, contributed yeah. like two or three records to that. Yeah, two or three, we was doing separate shit, bro. Right? Yeah. Producing his solo, I produced my solo. And then um, we end up bumping heads again with some mutual people that we was doing music with. He was yeah. uh, working with the hitters on the payroll. Yeah. He yeah. had already did a whole album with them. Mm -hmm. that, uh, underground like dead underground people. like dead people. And they was working on the second album. And uh, another one of my childhood friends, Polo, I went to school with him. I had, Shut up, I had seen him and have a long I had bumped into him and he didn't know I was doing music. I didn't know he was doing music. I had him come to the lab one day and we did some shit and then we ended up like, you feel me, we was, I was gonna produce a Hitters on the Payroll album. And um, mm -hmm. shit, they brought bro again. Did they asked me just to come and yeah, um, spread it, come, in. come listen to what they've been working on. So yeah. I, I, I'm like, all right, where is that? They're like, it's on, we're on High Street. I'm like, okay, cool, give me the address. So they gave me the address. When I got over there, it was a tweet. I'm like, oh, this brother I met from Project, yeah. the IRS Project. Yeah. So. so, yeah, we uh, we end up doing that. It is on the payroll album. We end up jumping in. And mm -hmm. We produced it together. And shit. We uh, Ghetto Storm. Ghetto Storm. Yeah, yeah Ghetto Storm. Ghetto Storm. Storm. Ghetto Storm. So that was the actual first. Uh, collaboration. collaboration mechanics uh, out them together. Yeah, but we wasn't. Did we? Yeah, it they came out. Mechanics. Yeah, when it came out, it said produced by mechanics. Yeah, so, so we during that process, we found, oh, we need a name. We need to. We're gonna be producing together. Da, 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 da. Like, like when I came to the crib to his house and shit, and heard the stuff that they was cooking, I was I was impressed. It was like it's dope. It's dope. It's like a continuation of what was going on when I was producing the hitters. So I was, and I liked what Ro was doing. And I liked the environment, I liked the location. It was, it was, it was hood, it was, but it was comfy. I was familiar, so I was like- And another cool. thing, before we even did music together, I was, I was up on his shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. I liked the his shit. I heard the shit he had there with like, uh, Digital mind, mm -hmm. money being mm -hmm. the, the, the language shit, and yeah. I was I was fucking with it. So yeah, so that it just it was the easy Quit. fit. Yeah, it was the easy fit. So, so I, 
came to his crib, we started just tag team and shit before you know it. We had made so much music, it was like, well, we, this is something more than just us producing together. Let's come up with something. So we came up with the mechanics and there you have it, you know what I'm saying?